each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve Donald has a great show at TFNN every trading day. He has a great newsletter, and Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see it on the right-hand side, Mastering Probability. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom line is that you can go over there. You can check it out. Steve has a huge amount of information on it. will be your page when you get over there that you really understand how Steve looks at the market every trading day. Huge value big time steve rhodes what's going on well just enjoying the heat of the summer so to speak yes you know, I, I, yes I, I went out i hadn't played golf for a couple months because of my trip overseas yeah finally got out yesterday or on uh, saturday you know playing golf in uh, florida in the summertime it's the only thing i could do where i can go out play a game of golf and come back four or five pounds lighter <laughs> you know <laughs> That's it's, that that's for sure. Well, Rory wasn't four or five pounds lighter. That was freezing over there, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, that's a, but what a really an extraordinary match over in Scotland. Um, you know, he the two shots that he had to hit to win the tournament on 17 and 18 were were really, you know, amazing shots. I think he I, th I think I saw an interview last night where he thought that maybe I was one of the one of the better shots in his life. Yes, no, that's what he said. That, that, that's know. what he said. You know, it was a shame if you didn't see this, folks, okay? I mean, he's he's amazing anyway, but, and the pressure was on and he needed this last birdie and he got it and I can understand why the, the cameras couldn't get it because everyone was around the 18th, right? Did you yes. see that? Like yes, everyone's yes, yes. sitting there waiting like, oh no, I can't believe we can't see this shot. <laughs> I, I know, yeah, and then, I know. And I know. then the way he reacted, folks, was so cool because he, I, I says, there's a couple different things you can take from that, like, oh, my God, I actually finally did it. Uh, yes. That yes. was just a classic, like, oh, I love it. That was pretty cool, man. Yeah. yeah, and it was a good good sports day overall, you know, for summertime yeah. with uh, with Wimbledon, you know, great match between oh, Alcaraz yeah. and, and, and uh, Pff, crazy. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, really, really. And then you so guys are really day. scoring with Messier. I mean, oh, this is a goodness. whole different ball game, man. Friday it, night's going to be insane over there. Yeah. Yeah, cheapest ticket, two hundred bucks. That's the nosebleed yeah. section. So yeah. I'll, I'll go down there. I'm just going to wait. You know, yeah, to, oh, for, it's for, worth it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I got, absolutely. I'm not even into soccer, but guess what? That's what happens what? with a Messier, right? <laughs> yeah, you watch him play, and so it's going to be perfect for it's going to be perfect for South Florida. So it is. Looking forward. So uh, the first charts that I actually have up on my screen, it wasn't really preparing on on discussion this, but it actually kind of follows through with with the uh, with the discussion I want to have today. And that discussion is: Has gold made a major bottom? But you were talking about earlier just before I came on, you know, if we can figure out what the U.S. dollar index is doing, then you can figure out a number of other elements in the market. So what I've got up here, I've got the futures contracts for the euro, the yen, and the uh, Great British Pound, the three uh, currencies that are going to impact the U.S. dollar index more than anything, more than the loonie or the uh, the uh, Swiss, uh, the corona or the, uh, the franc. Yes. Here, if we take a look at the euro, which is the upper left-hand side, and I've got the futures contract up, it's same thing if we looked at the currency pair. Today is going to form bar number eight, Tom, of what I refer to as a TD9 count pattern. Okay. And 90% of the time, when bar eight successfully makes the high of that pattern, here we're talking about tops, it will go out and actually complete the pattern. What needs to take place tomorrow is the close needs to be above the close of this bar, bar number five. And that close on the futures contract was at 1.1176. Odds favor that this will complete a TD9 count top tomorrow, regardless of whether price trades higher or lower. Now, the pattern itself doesn't complete until Wednesday. It can form on the bar following bar number nine. So the euro is signaling to you and I to prepare for the U.S. dollar index to form some type of bottom. Uh, with I think it's about 57% for the euro. If we take a look at the Japanese yen, you got to kind of reconfigure this here because I'm using the future contract. But here's what I really want you to know about this is price has made a rally right up to the solid green line, and that is the breakdown resistance level. So that is held. Sometimes a pattern can be just getting back to support or resistance. So in this case here, the yen has gotten back to a resistance level. And if we take a look at the Great British Pound, we see A to B equals CD patterns for both the euro and the uh, Great British Pound. But the Great British Pound is going to complete a TD9 count top 
today. It's going to confirm that pattern today. It'll complete the pattern tomorrow. So what should take place here, Tom? If we take a look at the uh, Great British Pound and the Euro, both of those should pull back to their, to their green oscillator and change lines out there. So that should at least, we should see some type of rally. I believe it would begin by about Wednesday or so in the market for the for the U.S. dollar index. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Any questions about, about that, those charts? No, no, no. Perfect. Okay. So let me change windows here because what I thought we would do is I would, that's weird. Okay, here we go. Got to my screen. Okay. And the, the question that I pose for everybody out there is, has gold made a major, has gold made a major bottom? So here's what I'm taking a look at. Well, one of the things that I know, and folks, you can go back there and study this too. When gold makes a major top, same thing for the S&P 500, it does so in all the major currencies at about the same time, usually right on the same day. Gold, priced in U.S. dollars, generated its all-time high the week of August 7th, all the way back here, 2020. Whereas gold priced in euros, yen, Great British pounds, they've gone on to make newer highs. So the point of this chart is we have not seen an all-time high in U.S. dollars, not based upon the fact that the markets, when they do top, they'll do it all at the same time. This is gold priced in all major currencies. Here I've got the yearly charts out here, and uh, they, they – Real bull markets, we're going to see price rising all at the same time. So that's something to take into consideration. Here, if I go down from a yearly chart, Tom, to a monthly chart, we can see the rally off of the uh, 2018 August lows out here, rallied right into uh, August of uh, 2020. It shouldn't be August 2020. I don't think it was August. It was July of 2020. Uh, might have been August. So the August 2020 top out here then led to a bottom for gold price in euros, yen, and pounds in March of 2021. So I want people to notice this. The left-hand chart here is in U.S. dollars uh, on the upper left-hand corner. Then we've got it gold priced in, uh, in uh, euros on the upper right-hand corner, then in yen on the lower left, pounds on the lower right. And what I want folks to really pay attention to is when the low in the other currencies took place. And that was in March of 2021. You can see that in the bottom left here. Whereas inside the U.S. dollar, that didn't take place until November of 2022 out here. So what we can see here is that uh, gold has been rallying in euros, yens, and pounds since that bottom. It's something to really consider. Now we take a look at gold here. It's gone to make new all-time highs, again, price in euros, yen, and pounds, but not so in terms of U.S. dollars. Again, this is just telling us a major top has not formed for gold. This is the monthly chart for gold. This shows that it's rallied from 1999 to 2011 during a major bull run out here. The important thing to take a look at here is on a monthly basis, all those retracements were two bar knee-jerk reaction lows. And if we take a look at where we're at right now, what took place in June, we had a two-bar move to the downside. And so when I put all that together, that indicates to me that we may have the potential for a major bottom that is going to start in gold and move to the upside. This is the daily chart for gold. It uh, generated a wave number seven bottom. If you take a look at the daily time frame, it generated a TD9 count bottom. Finagle gets over, generated a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. The weekly charts are have broken through resistance levels. I believe, Tom, that gold has made a major bottom. And, folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into the newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks, and come right back.